Welcome back, Travelers of the Slider Havoc here, and we are back on Project Ozone 2 in Kappa Mode. And I'm so excited. It seems so funny to get so excited over just being able to finish one little area of this quest book. But we're so close to being able to get the Extreme Furnace. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Extreme Furnace. We are so close, so, so close, because we have unlocked IOTA. As at the end of the last episode, we have finally unlocked IOTA, and I can now start getting rocking on oh, Galacticraft. I have been waiting. It's actually been a couple days since I filmed my last episode. I had some other stuff going on, and so, yeah, I did get a little bit of work done. <clears throat> now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you that this design kind of came to me. I don't even know if I can really call it a design. It, there's going to be a lot more to it. Um, I do want to work on it a lot of my free time and kind of get something kind of pretty looking going or whatever. But what I kind of came up with was an idea. I was really thinking like medieval village, you know, with like a castle in the background and stuff like that. And that's kind of what I was picturing as I started this. And so I was starting to do my normal builds, like, you know, very symmetrical, very universal. And I was like, you know what? Back then, it wasn't like that. It wasn't universal. It wasn't symmetrical. I mean, heck, they used to just throw sewage out in the streets and stuff like that. And, you know, it, and so I, as you can see, it's not symmetrical. Like, it's not at all symmetrical. Everything is just a little bit different. Everything's kind of tucked into the, like, I, I know there's going to be more metal uh, mechanism stuff that I'm going to need or whatever. And that'll end up kind of stacking around and figuring that out or whatever. <clears throat> but... It just kind of, I wanted it to have the thrown together feel. And so that's kind of what I went with. And I've been trying to figure out a way to use these viaducts. Now, this is not an end product by any means, because I don't need a viaduct to go from here to here. That's just silly. Because if I go to mechanism, that takes longer to take the viaduct than it does just to walk. But I wanted these set up, um, you know, so if we ever get something like way over here and I need to go to mechanism, I don't just have to do like a center one. I can go straight to the mechanism stuff or whatever. That's kind of what I've gone with. And I was trying to figure out a way to kind of cover them. So it looks kind of like a cool portal and you don't see these cut out corners or you don't see like, you know, everything below. Cause you really wouldn't notice it with this. Like, well, actually there's QEDs under this one. So you can't see the QED crystals, but yeah, that's, it's just, it's a work in progress, right? But enough about that. I've just spent three minutes that we could have been working on Galacticraft. We are getting ourselves to the moon. So the first thing I need to make is a circuit fabricator. Let's get going, circuit. Why can't I spell? Let me just type fabricator. I'm a little bit tired. It's it's kind of late in the night. So uh, circuit fabricator. All right, cool. Oh my goodness. Those energy tablets suck. Ha, <sighs> two more of those. Enderium, not a problem. Machine housing, I think that's also, yeah, that's that's easy stuff. Um, the electro silicon wave, silicon, this is different. Okay, so this with electrotene silicon compound, which is silicon with electrotene, which is a silicon bowl and the diamond saw. And I make that with sandy coal compound, which is coal and sand. Okay, let us make up a couple of those. So I'm going to need some coal like a so and i'm gonna need some sand and i have none i got to this is the this is the one downside of slowly moving everything um this i've got plans for i want to make like fairgrounds and stuff like that out in front of the village um I, i've got these ideas i just haven't really started executing on them yet because i'm so excited to get going on like the fun stuff not that not all of it is fun, because I think absolutely all of this is just uh, so enjoyable. But I think you know what I mean when I say the fun stuff, right? Like all the, you know, the quest stuff and the development and moving on and progression and all that stuff. I am jazzed right now. There we go. And then I can just put you back. That'll give me 64 Sandy Coal Compound. I think that's probably going to be more than we'll ever need. But you never know. All right, and then I'll cook you guys up. And those are the bowls. Cool. Yeah, that's that's probably more than I'm going to Because I think you get eight per cut with the saw, I believe. And I have a saw, but is it diamond? Oh, no, my saw isn't here. I think it's like a stone saw. I think I need to actually make a diamond saw. 
This one is an iron saw, and I need a diamond saw. That's easy. Oops, I could have just clicked it right there. It was over here a second ago. Uh, diamond saw. Here we go. Stone. I don't know if I have. Do I have any stone sticks? I don't. So let us make up a couple of these. Let's do it with cobble, just because. Do I not have any cobble? <laughs> Gosh. What do you do? I know I have stone in here. I just was working with it. See? I knew I had stone. Oh, what? The, the cobble finally... Oh my goodness. These... The, the, the clicky clicks. It's, it's kind of funny how it wants to work sometimes and doesn't want to work others. I know I have diamond. I know I have sticks. And I just made the stone one. Aha, there you are. Okay, cool. So we're going to take you. And... Yeah, that gives me eight. We'll make up like 32 of these just because I don't know exactly how many I'm going to need, but I think that's a good start. And I'll put you back in here. Yes. So now I'm going to need some Electrotene. Um, cool. So we'll just do you like that. And we will make a whole bunch of you. I, whatever. Eight, nine, sure, whatever, fine. And I think then I fire this up in the redstone, right? That's what that recipe said. Cookie. Aha, there we go. Cool. So we've got that. That is cool. Um, fabricator. These, I don't think I've made these in a while. I need to make the player cores, which I can make easily. Let's just make a whole stack so I never have to think about them ever, ever, ever again. And then I should have some vibrant in here. Once those player cores, there we go. So 16, there we go. Cool. Now I never have to worry about those. I, I have a feeling if I'm using them on this recipe, I'm going to need for more. So. Um, we need to make a couple of you up because I have a feeling that that frame is going to be the middle piece in a lot of these. And once those get back into the system, there we go. There's the six of those. Cool. So we got some machine housings done. So we're prepping and looking towards the future. So I don't know if I have any enderium. I have eight. So that lets me make four. Okay. So it's these tablets again, these stinking tablets. These things, ugh, making that battery, making that battery, making that battery. Let's see how many I can make. I've got all these materials, I believe, except it doesn't want to autofill. So what am I missing? I have electrical steel. Um, what other steel is that? That is pulsating. No, that's not pulsating. That is, what steel is it? Ay, ay, ay. I was so excited. I'm like, ready to go, and then nothing. Okay. Mm. Misclicking. Hey, that is... Oh, my goodness. Why does this move so much? I don't know why it moves so much. Okay, cool. So, it's conductive iron and electric steel. Now, I just did something with the electrical steel, so I now have plenty of that. I need some conductive iron, apparently. So, let's grab a stack. Well, do I have any? That's what it is. Okay. So, redstone and iron... Let me just uh, make a whole bunch of redstone up. I did figure out what my problem was with my storage issues. Um, so the thing was, I wasn't actually out of storage per se. When I started making my electrical steel, hence me talking about um, I was just working with my electrical steel, I didn't put a uh, void upgrade on the storage drawer. And so it filled the rest of my storage drawers with it. And yeah, that was a little bit annoying. But at least now I know what was causing it. So not a huge deal. I got it fixed. Uh, I literally ended up with like 65,000 electrical steel that I just voided out in a trash can. And now everything's up and running and smooth. So storage issues are, at least for the time being, uh, solved. Now, did I disconnect your power? <laughs> At some point, did your power get disconnected? Because you sure drained like no other. I thought I was running power under here. Well, hopefully I don't need to use the induction smelter again. Okay, cool. So, uh, circuit fabricator. Back to these tablets. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so bingo, bango. There we go. Um, I'm going to make five right now because they don't stack. And so that is really annoying. But I figure we're going to probably need more very, very soon. So that way, at least I have all the materials that we need. Um, why is all this stuff sticking there? Come on. Go, 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 go. Okay. 
So circuit fabricator, tablet, battery, battery, and go. Yeah, I just... These things have been the bane of my existence. Absolute just headache. Okay. So redstone, one, two, three, four, five. Well, there we go. And then, no, no, that is, I always forget what this one's called, actually. Energetic alloy. That's it. And that is a pulsating block, I believe. So let us. Oh, I don't want to clear out the inventory. Uh, do I have a crafting? <laughs> I'm sure I have a crafting table somewhere. There we go. So I'll just set this crafting table up on the ceiling just for fun. Oh, well, right there works too. And we'll make these blocks. There we go. And now I can put you in there. And then the batteries. And there we go. So battery. Oh, I already have five of these. Awesome. That makes me one happy camper right there. So I can make those. I'm going to make these up since I've already started. But now I can just make those tablets like real quick and easy. Like awesome. Okay. Tablet. I didn't even realize I had made all those extra. So it's you, you, you. Do I have any more of those comparators? I've been using a lot. Um, enriched ally. I have 34 of those. Good. But I don't have any of the capacitors. Okay. So that is a stack of those. Um, uh, it's steel? No, conductive iron. And this is actually will be cut. No, compressed iron. That's it. Compressed iron. There we go. And then I think it's gray plastic. We'll, we'll double check on that real quick. Um, capacitors. Your recipe is... Ah, darn it. Your recipe is gray plastic, compressed. Oh, octetic. Good thing I checked. There we go. So apparently we're making 58 of those. I have to get that farm back up and running. I disconnected the power. And so um, it has not been running for a little bit, but it'll be okay. So if I lock and click gray, it just does 64 of them or just fills this up. And if you take stuff out, then it'll keep filling it. But I just do that to get the 64. And I did finally put down this... Um, What's it called? Translocation plate. So check this out. It's kind of funny. I'm going to take damage to do this, but I just think it's funny. Whoop, and it warps me in and I can fly out. So I don't know why it does that, but yeah. So it warps you in there. It's, you know, it's cool. It does its thing. But let us throw the compressed iron in and that in and that in. And let's turn. Oh, hey. How are you popping up right now? Why are you popping up here? You shouldn't be popping up. And my item dislocator isn't even on me, which I'd like to know where it is, actually. So they all should be in there. Cool. And now where's my item dislocator? I don't remember putting it away. But I swear this thing always just kind of disappears. It just ends up in the inventory system all the time, and I don't know why. It's a little bit... I mean, I'm sure I'm misclicking at some point, but... I don't think it is because it's the only thing that ever goes in the inventory. Everything else I never have a problem with. Come on, guys. Finish up. Oh, you know what? That might be it because I it was, uh, yeah, I didn't have the octetic capacitors. Cool. So we've got 58 of those. Awesome. This is, well, we're heading in the right direction. I know it's a little bit slow, but we're headed there. So we've got that, got that, got that, got that, got that. Um, now we need to make these two. Make it. Make it. <sighs> okay. So we'll put you there. Really? Really? You're just going to make me place everything? Okay. Um, redstone. Uh, alloy. Got plenty of you. And enriched. Um, there we go. We'll just put you like that. And osmium. Right. Osmium. Ingots. Got them. Cool. There we go. Can we auto play out? Because I just realized I didn't put enough of that redstone. So. Do, 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 do. Wait. Wrong one. Wrong redstone. This one. Do, 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 do. There we go. So. Thank you. Can you? Nope. You won't. 
Ay, ay, ay. This, I can't wait until I get applied energetics. This not wanting to autocraft normal stuff is... <sighs> um, touching on the side of frustrating. So, fabricator, let's make you. Please, really, it's the tablets. Oh, no, there it is. Ooh, those are all glowy. Achievement unlocked. Yes. And we are going to go ahead and put you somewhere, probably in this corner. I'm thinking, oh, is, is Galacticraft the one that you have to put all the energy on the one side? Is that the weird one? I don't recall. I think it is. But there we go. We got the fabricator. I remember this thing. Like you put like repeaters and stuff up here and like, you know, diamonds and stuff there and lapis and redstone and it makes stuff. Awesome. We've got this. So I have a feeling the very next item that we make is going to need like one of these wafers. So the compressor. I remember this. And the compressor makes the electric compressor. And that's what we inevitably want to get to. So let's check out the compressor. Compressor. Is this it? No, that's extra planets. Advanced oxygen compressor. Ultimate oxygen compressor. That's cool. Um, I just want a compressor. There we go. Where are you? Is this it? Yes. Okay. Got you. Steel plates I think I've already made. A dark steel anvil. That's easy. Right? Do I not have the dark steel meat? No, I don't. Okay. There's seven of them. Let's make up seven more. Because I have a feeling... I just... The more the merrier. The more... That's, that's the way I look at it. Dark steel anvil. Let's make you... Because... I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to need another compressor to make the electronic compressor. So yeah, we're going to definitely need that. So compressor, here we go. So making you, um, I may not have that. I do have those. I definitely have those. So can I just make you like that? <sighs> what ma material was that? I need to start doing this. Okay. Compressor. And then remembering to do this. No, that's. The whole new keyboard thing is really getting to me. Okay. And what else did I need? Oh, well, let's just do this. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, what? <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I really, it's a cross between just doing stupid stuff and being tired. It's not going over very well. Okay, so compressor. There we go. I need you, which is steel ingots. Okay, and I think we have some steel in here. Steel, I need to stop that. Stop that connection. Um, that's dark steel. That is electrical steel. I need to head back over here to our awesome little furnace guy who has been making steel. And we've got 2,163. Yes, we are good on steel, at least for a while. I did break it down into the ingot form. Uh, mostly because I was having issues with the blocks and they were really, really slow and taking up all of my uh, coal. So, uh, hammer, there you go. So let's just make a stack of you. I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot more. So that's why I'm kind of doing everything in bulk right now. So that way it'll all... Oh, link you now. Jeez, oh, I can't win. Okay, compressor. Got you, got you, got you, got you. There we go. Got my compressor. And I'm going to make two because I know that the electrical compressor, aha, ha, takes the regular compressor. And so might as well get ahead of the game. So electric compressor. See, it takes a regular compressor. And so I can make like two of these. I have those. I have that now. I need to make one more of those, which is fine. And then I need to make some wafers. So that's why we may have the fabricator. So I need a couple redstone repeaters, some redstone, some silicon, and diamonds. I've got all that. I just need to make the repeaters. And then what about you? You take titanium with silicon, redstone torches, and redstone. Okay, cool. So let's make uh, redstone torches. I have six, and I've got repeater. Okay, cool. So we're already headed in the right direction. And some redstone and some diamonds. 
and some silicon, which I may not have any of. I got 24. Okay, cool. I think we have what we need, and I need power for this guy. I'm just going to pick you up right now. I will figure out a better way to kind of charge you up later. Just Yeah, just there we go. We're doing this ghetto style here, right? You're getting power good. Okay, so it was diamonds, repeaters, silicon. Where'd that silicon go? No, it was redstone. And I thought it was silicon in these. Like that. It is. Cool. Why didn't you want to click in there? I don't know. But now we'll get those wafers. We're going to need two of those. And then I believe it was the regular redstone torches to get the other two. And I wish there was a way to speed these up, but I just don't believe there is. And so we're just going to have to tough it out. So I'm going to go ahead and finish making these four wafers, and then we'll come back. It's only going to be like a second. Okay, guys, so I got a little bit more crafting done in the meantime. And so now we've got quite a few of those wafers, and we should be able to upgrade them. I did make two of the batteries also. And, yeah, also, I would I do want to say thanks for the heads up on the glowstonic steel, right? Um, apparently, when you put the glowstonic steel in here, I, I believe you said it has the same item ID. So it has the same item as the Lumium, which is, what, uh, 641875. And this one is 6959. Interesting. It doesn't seem to have the same ID. But anyways, yeah, I have not put it back in here since because every time I did, it was, you know, turning into Lumium. So what I think I might start doing is, like you said, and great advice, by the way, uh, put in a chest, locking it to Glowstonic, and then that way, that one will always take those in there and I won't have that problem anymore. But <clears throat> yeah, it, as much Lumium ingots as I have, the Glowstonic turning into that made a lot of sense. So thanks for that. I do, do appreciate that because... It was very frustrating for me when that kept happening. So anyways, I should have all these materials now to at least make these two and the battery and you, and then you should autofill, right? Maybe not, elect, yeah, I've got plenty of you. And the wafers are right here. What am I, oh, anvil, anvil. Got the dark steel anvil like that. So there's you. And don't shift click out. There it is. Okay, cool. So we're just going to place you up here for right now. And you're going to go right there too because I need my power conduits to go up the side. Because we're going to need these to make the plates for the rocket. And I am so. I feel like we're so close, but I know we're not quite there. But I feel so close. Um, let me get some conduit to give those guys some power real quick. Oh my goodness. We are so close to getting to the moon, which then inevitably will get us to Mercury and good things will happen then. Okay. So we've got detected. So that's like O2 stuff, which I'm not overly worried about at the moment. And then the refinery to get fuel, fuel loader, launching pad. Oh, we're so close. We are so close. The refinery. Let's check out the crazy recipe for this guy. Refinery. Ref. Jeez, if I can spell. There it is. Advanced refinery. No, just regular refinery. There you go. This one right here. Right. Okay, so we need some new wafers, some compressed steel, which we can do, and a machine housing. These new wafers are diamond, silicone, redstone, and a redstone lamp. Really? Oh, I happen to have some. Thank you, Seth Bling Kit. Oh, so nice. All right, so let's get these going. I don't know how many I'm going to get per, but let's get you going. Right? And then I need to get some steel in here. And I just put some in here. Did I not? I did. So, oh, and you know what? I got two of those. So this should go relatively quickly because I can stack them. And if I remember, it's two per, right? I think that's how it goes. It's two, two ingots give you one or something like that. Let's see. These things are so loud. Let me see. Okay, so two to two. Okay, that's cool. So compressed steel, I only need four. So that's those four right there. And you gave me three. I need uh, like two more. I need more silicon. Um, do I have any more? I don't, but I do have sand. Not snad. Sand, not sadden, 
sand. I'm so excited. I'm like typing uber fast and it's not working out for me. Uh, sag mill. Sand, go. Good, good, good. Some more silicon for this thing. Come on. Give me more. Give me more. I'm not getting a lot. Am I out of flint? I am out of flint. And I've got plenty of that stuff. So that's never an excuse to be... My goodness, I can't type today. All right. Let's fill you back up with flint. And let's fill you up with flint. No, no, you don't take flint. Just you. All right, cool. So there's 34 silicon. Okay, cool. And... Like so. Get to work. Get to work. I need two more of these. All right. And steel plating, I'm probably going to need more of. So I'm just going to let those go for the time being. And I'm so excited. Like, I'm literally, like, like squirming. I'm like a little kid in a candy store. Like, oh, I want all this stuff. And I got to have it. Okay. So it should. Oh, yeah. I got more than enough now. I'm going to go and take those out because I don't know. I mean, I probably need more eventually. But I don't need them all right this moment. So... I don't want to just keep making them. Refinery, this one right here. Um, I already made a couple of those, didn't I? Yes, I did. So I should be able to shift. Aha, refinery. Oh, we are getting so close. We are getting so close. I'm going to put you in a really weird spot right here. Because, no. You get your power on top, huh? Can't y'all just like be consistent, please? All right, so then what we'll do is we'll put you here and you like this. You're not getting power anymore. That's just not going to work. All right. Um, so <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to stack these. This is this will be something not for now, but for later. I got to figure out how I'm going to do. Oh, there's wood right there. Um, I guess we'll just put you forget it we're putting you right there that's where you're going you're getting power you're good to go you're doing your thing okay cool so the refinery needs oil right and <clears throat> will make fuel okay but i i think i can make fuel with um cows moo cows so not overly worried about it. fuel loader let's go make the fuel loader this thing is gonna be something i need so um, fuel loader. There we go. Advanced ultimate. No, I just want regular. All right. So we're gonna need some compressed copper, a couple basic fluid tanks, some reactor class. Um, wow. This thing is just kind of, okay. Well, let's get some copper started here. I've got plenty of that stuff. All right. Let us do that. We've maxed out those there. And you, and let's get some copper going. Cool. You're doing your thing. Let's check out the recipe for this reactor glass. Um, fuel. Man, I cannot spell today. Fuel loader. Like so. So we got to make some of you. That is a reactor frame plus cyan glass. Do I have any of those? No, I don't. I d they don't sound familiar. Are you kidding me? I need four steel casings and an atomic alloy, which is going to be refined or compressed obsidian with reinforced alloy, which is compressed diamond and, and re oh my goodness. Okay. So I've got some crafting ahead of me right now because I need to go make a whole bunch of these steel casings. I don't know how many I have. I lost a whole bunch. Lost okay. I got, I got five. Okay. And I think I only need four. To make four, right? Uh, loader. Fuel loader. Come on, where's the regular one? Cargo loader, cargo. Fuel loader. So I need two of these. So I'm going to need four reactor frames to make four of these. Okay, so I'm okay there. And this recipe makes four. Okay, cool. So I've got enough to do actually two of those, which is good. But i got to get going on these. So i got to work back. I'm going to need some diamond. Either compressed diamond or diamond dust. How do I make diamond dust? Just pulverizing diamond. I love it. I can do that. And I'm going to also need the um, enriched. There we go. So we'll take you and I've got some diamonds on me. Pulverize these bad boys up. Let me just do like half a stack. 
All right, there we go. And then Metallurgic Infuser. Which one has all the upgrades? One of you is fully upgraded. You are fully upgraded, good job. Okay, so I'm gonna need you and you. There we go. I don't wanna make too many. I'm pretty sure I'll need more later, but I, I'm not overly worried about it right now. Ooh, that was a quest. I like when I do quests. And then that one, I need Obsidian. Um, let's grab that real quick. And shush. You shush. There's no upgrade to quiet this thing down. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Um, so what did I need? I needed the loader. And the loader was to make this, which was to make this, which was to make this. So this, I need refined obsidian or compressed obsidian. Well, how do we make refined obsidian? That is with obsidian powder and more of the diamond. Okay, so let's throw the obsidian in here. And then, oh, that's actually, that's more than double, that's quadrupling them. Okay, and I already have some diamond in here. So then that should make the refined obsidian. It does, nice. And I'll just go ahead and wait till that kind of goes away. And then it was this with this to make the big one. And then I've got the casings. All right, so that wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was gonna be. It, it felt that way, but it really wasn't. So that's okay. And now I need to put you here and you here. I can't do it. Is there a way to eject this stuff? <clears throat> Can I eject? No, apparently not. Did I upgrade the rest of you guys? I know I started throwing upgrades in some of them. Okay, you've got your speed and muffling. You just don't have energy, so I can handle that. So, you and you. Okay. Yeah, that is just draining some energy. Um... Oh, good thing I only need one. This is going to take a minute. I was like, I could take the energy upgrades out of here. And just kind of transfer them over. But it's going to take a second for them to go in. But I guess it'll be relatively efficient once it does. So they're going in. A little, ah, ha ha, now they're more efficient. There we go, cool. So we've got that guy. Good, 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 good. Ultimate alloy. Okay, cool. We are getting achievements done, and I'm not even meaning to. Um... I like that. So now we're making you, which is you. There's those four right there. And then those four around a piece of glass. Gives me the reactor glass. Good. We're heading in the right direction. I need some basic tanks. I can do those easy. One, two. Oh, they don't stack, of course. So I'll just put you guys back in here. And finally, a uh, machine. That's actually easy. Three plastic, five electrical steel, and a basic machine frame, which I can do. Okay. So, I need some invar. I'm going to finish making this up real quick. And then once I'm done making it up, I will come back so we can see our final fuel loader project. Product? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And um, <clears throat> get rocking on this. So, we will be right back. All right, guys, I want to show you something that has me highly, highly confused. And I'm thinking it might just be power in the back in the system. <laughs> Check this. So I just finished making my factory machine block, right? When I moved all of this stuff over to there, I happened to leave my lasers unplugged in, right? I, I, I broke the wires down and stuff like that. So you can see this isn't connected to anything, right? This is just dirt, regular dirt going this way. And this isn't connected anywhere. But somehow, it's maintaining enough energy that I just made both the machine frame and <laughs> the factory machine block, and yet all these are still fully charged. I don't know if it's because there's so much energy in those conduits, because there's 180,000 each, con I don't know. That could very likely be it. I was just so amazed, I was like, I remember I, I set it down, I was like, oh wait, I'm not gonna have enough energy, and then it, they all worked, and that that had me bewildered things never work out for me mostly because i just make a lot of mistakes but oh i need to grab the compressed copper but yeah i was very shocked by that that it was working okay loader Urgh. 
what isn't working okay you go there you guys go there reactor glass goes there and tanks go there oh i didn't grab two there we go we got the fuel loader awesome so this i'm gonna actually have to find a good place to set it down because this is going to be where our launch pad goes right so that's that and you know we're a little bit longer than i wanted to be but i don't mind going just a little bit further because if i can get the launch pad set up then i can start getting working on the rocket next episode and we can head to the moon oh my gosh i am so excited right now launch pad this one right here rocket launch pad you are compressed iron and blocks of iron and that gives me nine. Oh, that's perfect so i just need three iron and three blocks of iron add on all right so let's make up three blocks oh i'm gonna have to do it over there that's fine let me make up some compressed iron though i don't know how much i'm gonna need so i'm just gonna make like a bunch and i think i should still have some iron i may not because i think i put i might have put it all in there um yeah that's aluminum this is co as you can see i've been you know mass producing blocks over here um do you still have iron is there any iron left in here no there's not i have to smelt up some iron okay so we're gonna stop you real quick you're gonna stop working uh, we'll just yeah we'll put you on ah. ah i can't click on the right thing there we go we're gonna stop ejecting because you're totally full up you'll drain out real quick yeah gasoline's good so this will be fast I just need to make three blocks of iron, which means I need 36 iron, but wait, that's 32, three, four, five, six. There we go. I don't need a lot more of those blocks and I might make more to continue making the steel, but we'll see how that goes. Um, anything left in here? No. So you go in there. Wow. That was just super duper fast. Um, can you, can you not, can you, can you be the thing that drains? Uh, apparently not okay and i've messed you up again all right so let's yeah let's just get this iron first that's really what i'm you know concentrating on right now there's not enough room <laughs> i just ruined it okay let us just we'll call that copper a waste not a problem there we go oh let me i'm tired of losing things because i'm constantly turning this item dislocator on and off okay so iron you're going in here that should yes there we go and then i should be able to there we go and then you'll finish smelting yes happy days are here again give me my three blocks of iron you've already switched over to copper oh my goodness you should not have done that okay there's you only iron Pump it in. There we go. No, stop going up top. Why do you keep switching on me? Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm getting frustrated with this game. I want my iron blocks. You did it again, didn't you? Yes, you did. And you're too full. <sighs> this is, yeah. Okay, it's official. I had made a comment to you saying that I probably won't add a procrastination. No, it's time to do it. It's time to redstone control this thing so I don't have these issues anymore. That was just frustrating enough right there to convince me, hey, it's time. All right, so there's my three iron blocks. We're good. See, you, you shouldn't even have iron left. I put in 36, which was three blocks worth. And for some reason, you're trying to put more. I don't know. All right. Back to pumping out copper. Go. Okay, cool. Put you down. And let us go make this launch pad. And yeah, I'm looking at the time and we're about 36 minutes in right now. And so I'm thinking, yeah, that's going to that's gonna wrap it up for today. We are getting so close. So very close. To getting to the moon. And then the next episode, what I can really work it on is, aha, launch pads. And we're just going to go set this down right over here. I love the way it looks. 
boom. And there it goes. It's all connected. So then we'll be able to put fuel into this and stuff like that. And we'll be able to get started on our uh, tier one rocket. Sorry, I was just laughing at this. This looks so bad. But, you know, it's a matter of placing stuff down and, you know, getting it done. So let's check out some of our accomplishments. We got quite a bit in the way of accomplishments done. And I am so excited. Like, I... I know this wasn't the most exciting in the way of doing fun and new stuff because it's just a lot of crafting, but I'm actually really excited because I haven't done Galactocraft in a very long time. I don't even remember what the, like the, the planet, well, the moon, I went to moon and I think Mars when I did it last, I don't even remember what's on them. Like to be honest, I, I don't even know what I'm in for, but I'm going to claim every single chest we have available right now. And we're going to get some good stuff before we finish. I know it's going to happen. We're going to get some good stuff. Because I've gotten so much bogus stuff lately. I have to get some good stuff. Um, <clears throat> okay, I can't... Oh, that's why I updated them. I haven't done this one yet, so I can't get those. All right, but... That's cool. We got a lot of chests. Let's let's see what fun stuff we got. We got a fortune cookie. I like fortune cookies. They're fun. We got some electrotine and some red alloy. Not bad. I mean, we can kind of make it real easy now. Increases mining speed. Hmm. Is that a ring for this? It is. Boop. Might as be cool. I think those wear out, though. I believe those wear out. Um, soap, Super soapy water, because we've not got enough of that. Some more red... I'm going to look into these, okay? Um, I was reading something that was talking about it one day, and I didn't get too deep into it, but apparently they're pretty cool, and I don't know if they're cool just because they have a lot of EMC. Um, no, don't need you. And last one. And some trees we got some saplings let's read our fortune cookie to finish up right because why not we we're going a little bit longer so i'm not going to do a chance cube opening today but i think in the way of progression i'm okay with not doing the chance cubes because we now have a launch pad and very very shortly we're going to use all these fun little machines here to eventually build ourselves a rocket and go off to the moon although it looks like earth is right there with the purple moon next to it. I don't know. But anyways, fortune cookie. Here we go. Give me a good one. Nice sounding made up word of the day. Hexadecagon. That does sound kind of cool. Hexadecagon. That would be a five, five, ten sided object. A hexadecagon. I like it. I like it. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are enjoying the series and Yes, we are about to get to the moon, and that is very, very exciting and fun and, yeah, all that good stuff. And I hope this is the type of stuff you guys want to see. I really do. Um, but I'm having an absolute blast playing and kind of getting going on all of this, and I enjoy the comments that I get from you guys, a lot of the helpful hints, tips, and tricks, and all that stuff. It's It, it helps me tremendously because there's a lot of stuff that I don't know about that you guys do, and so it's awesome when you guys provide information like that. Um, and I know there's some things you guys have told me about that I haven't really executed on, but I'm glad that you guys said to do that because I had thinking about it and I hadn't put it into uh, work, but then I did because, well, you said do it. And so I did see how that works. You tell me to do it and I'll do it. So anyways, um, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, I would really appreciate a little click on that thumbs up button down there. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more content like this, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. I have been trying to upload daily as it is right now. And I'm also in search for a new pack to start as well, just so there's a little variety. Not that I don't have my hands full with what I'm doing here, but just because, you know, sometimes it's repetitive to see the same stuff every single day. So, yes, I will be looking for that. And if you guys have any advice, comments, or, you know, heads ups on good packs to try out, I definitely want to kind of stick in this whole Kappa mode. I guess they're commonly called expert mode setups. I like the challenge. It's new, it's different, and it causes forces you to kind of progress through mods instead of just building up a whole bunch of stuff really, really quickly. So, yeah. So, if you guys have any uh, comments about that, please let me know. But, anyways, until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm Slutter Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.